Good morning, everyone. How beautiful is this dress that I'm wearing? Oh my goodness, I am absolutely in love with this. Feel a little bit like Morella from <laughs> And with an E, no, just because I've finished the series, it doesn't mean I've gotten over Morella. But I love this, it is so gorgeous. I've popped it on with an Hermes belt and I really think it kind of elevates it, which I am very, very fond of. I would never normally go for a dress like this, but this print is beautiful. And you know what? This is the kind of dress that I'd be happy to wear like flats in. Sorry, I'm just loving my outfit this morning and I think that this print is just, it's so delicate and beautiful. I have just finished up on a Zoom call with Code 8 Beauty, which is, it just went so well. I love it when you have like a Zoom call with a brand, for me personally, and you just feel really pumped. Like I always get so much creative ideas and like motivation. And also I always feel like weirdly encouraged, but it was great. Such a good Zoom call. It is Friday today and it is the day that we are actually like celebrating our birthdays, both Ali and I. We have booked a table at Woburn Mosaic and we're going there with four of our friends. We'll be sitting outside and enjoying cheese and wine and jazz music and art and it is going to be absolutely wonderful. And I also have to go to Woburn in the afternoon today as well because I am going to Seuster and Hicks to have some measurements taken, so I'm gonna be spending the afternoon with them, which is lovely as well. I've been invited down, and uh, we're gonna be taking some measurements, discussing a few things that I'm gonna have made, because I think I've mentioned before I wanted to get a few jackets made. Yesterday I went antique shopping with Lauren Casey. I didn't actually pick up as much as I thought I was gonna pick up though, but I just picked up some bits that I know that I had wanted. I found my boots, the boots with the wooden shapers, they're perfect, and in fact, Paul, uh, the guy that's decorating our house, just walked past and he goes, they're amazing, and I was like, thanks Paul. <laughs> but my dress today is from Nasty Gal. Would you believe it? I just can't believe that this dress is from Nasty Gal. And actually the pieces that I've picked today are so, so wonderful. So I'm gonna be trying on some outfits with you because I need to find something to wear tonight that's gonna be warm, but I still wanna feel nice. It's my birthday and I don't wanna compromise on that. I'm just not compromising, okay? <laughs> But I am also gonna take a bag with me that has blankets in because it's not like when you, you used to go out where you didn't wanna carry a coat because it was just in the way and you'd be moving from bar to bar and probably having a little dance. It's not like that anymore, people. You sat down, you can't move. <laughs> so I'm gonna take some blankets so that everyone is cozy and warm. Guys, we are also set to hopefully get our bedroom back this evening. So that is very exciting. Like we've got our new bed arriving on Monday. So hopefully I'll be able to show you that really soon. I've seen the artwork for the bedroom, which looks absolutely stunning. I've seen the new armchair. Oh my gosh, guys, the new armchair in the bedroom. I can't wait to show you this room when it's finished. It really is. Like we've got one more week left, one more week, and then they style it next Monday. So not this Monday, next Monday. It is really really exciting i think things are really going to tie up today our new carpet is going down from eaton square we're getting our mats in our mat wells so the hallway is going to feel really finished as well so i'm very very excited guys no i'm not allowed to use the word excited i'm thrilled <laughs> that was the most common word that was used to make a change from excited. So I'm gonna be using thrilled for a little while and hopefully break the habit that I have of saying <laughs> excited all the time. I've also had the delivery of all deliveries. Like I've had some Dior, I've had some Tom Ford. I've, I mean, Tom Ford has actually just spoiled me rotten because that's not all that, I've, I mean, I've got a Tom Ford box, I've got some sunglasses, Ali's got some sunglasses, I've got a bag. And this just arrived as well, because apparently they hadn't sent me everything. So we've got the glow bronzer, we've got the sheer highlighting duo, the glow bronzer in, there must be different shades, and something to start the party this evening. If there's one thing I love, it is mini bottles of champagne, because it means I don't have to open a big bottle. <laughs> I mean, why would I not want to open a big bottle? But it just feels cute. I can pop a straw in it and it's lovely. <laughs> I'm also still having flowers arrive for my birthday, which is so lovely. I had these ones arrive from the Intimis Me team, and these are some pink champagne truffles and some beautiful pink and green blooms, which I, pop I popped in my dressing room because I think they are just 
wonderful but I think I really have I don't know if I've said this already in my last video but I was not like I, I really mean that I was not expecting so many bunches of flowers in fact I've got another box of flowers to open today I'm running out of room and I just you know when you see those girls on Instagram and they have like their birthdays and they're like surrounded by flowers and you're like oh my gosh imagine that life like imagine just being so fabulous that everyone sends you flowers on your birthday I didn't know I was that fabulous. <laughs> In all seriousness, there are times when you feel really like, I go through phases of feeling really, what's the word I'm looking for? Like unconfident in what I do. And when I receive flowers like this from brands, I don't think I'm able to put into words how surreal it is that that happens. I can't believe it, it happens to me. Sorry for the gushing, I know. But it, it does mean a lot to me that these brands think of me and think of me enough to send me flowers. So anyway, so today's gonna be a really good day. I've got some stories to film first and then we are heading to Woburn for a day of fashion. But I will link my dress in the description box down below because I think that this is a really lovely spring dress, especially transitionally because it's got long sleeves. I would love to wear this tonight, but I feel like this might be a little bit more of like a, a casual day dress. I'm not sure. I would so wear this around the house. In fact, I would like this in different prints. Different, beautiful, floral prints I would love. Right, I've finished up the majority of my work for the morning, so I'm able to head down to Woburn now. I've got my mask with me, so everything should be fine, but I have like a very, very tight schedule for today because we're going quite early to Woburn Mosaic, so I want to make sure that we're ready and we're set to go on time. Our taxi, I think, is at like half, no, 5.45, so I have to be very, very regimented, but I thought it would be nice to document my first appointment, my first fit, not what's well, not fitting, but my first kind of like measure up. I've brought some items from my wardrobe that I love, but I think could be like better, basically. So we are heading on our way to Woburn. I love Woburn so much, it's so beautiful. I have just arrived and I'm literally determined not to be the world's worst vlogger because I usually come to appointments like this and I get so excited and so caught up in things that I vlog absolutely nothing. So I'm being good and I'm picking up my camera almost straight away. I don't know if you remember, but I came to Seuster and Hicks a few weeks ago, but we could only stand outside and they brought out a blazer to show me. Well, I'm now gonna try on the blazer because I've brought bits from my own wardrobe to show them that I like, but I think I'm gonna get an education whilst I'm here. So I'm gonna be trying on bits that maybe I wouldn't usually have tried on. And I think that I'm gonna learn a few things. So we're already up here now. I've already changed into my half penny trousers, which I love, but we're gonna be trying on a few things in here. So hopefully I'm gonna find some things. <laughs> Oh, is that the thing on the back that you can do to like tighten yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, that's handy. Strap and buckle. Yeah, strap and buckle. <laughs> like the so, thing on the so back. We will get educated. <laughs> educated. <laughs> so what happens, uh, and it's the same with the men, they all want that look like this. Yeah. This is great, but then you want to sit down and have a meal, you've got a problem. Yeah. So what you have is a little strap, and all you do is just, when you sit down, just listen. Yeah. With a waistcoat or without. So would you say a jacket like this with trousers like this or would you go long trousers? Oh no, long trousers. Long trousers, so to the floor. Oh wow, yes. Yeah, I love that. Oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. I thought she was a mannequin. I know. No, 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 she... That's so bizarre. <laughs> and she's 50 years old. No. Yeah. Oh my goodness. She's raised children, I think, isn't she? Yeah, or... <laughs> I thought she was a mannequin. That's amazing. Yeah, even I, I can see that, I promise, I can see it. And the great thing about it, Lydia, total one-off. Yeah, exactly. Because I think the thing is, is that, like I said, I always try and buy blazers and I always struggle. Yeah. Anything that's like structured on the shoulder, I need to have it really made yeah. to measure. So we can make you anything. Yeah, see, I love this this shirt. I'd have them higher, yeah. personally, yeah. and then longer to the floor. Yes, of course. Are 
Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> So I think we've settled on a fabric and a lining for the suit because it's going to be ready in May, did you say? End of May. End of May. I thought it would be nice to go for something that could be worn in summer and then perhaps later on in the year I'll get something that's more of like a winter suit. So we've gone for this Italian wool which has a slight stretch to it and then I wanted something quite sort of preppy feeling. So like the jacket could be worn with maybe linen trousers or jeans when it's really, really warm out. We're going to go for something similar to this but this was the jacket that i was telling you about that they brought outside last time and it fits so nicely so we're going we're thinking something along this line the trousers as well but to the floor i love a trouser to the floor so they're nice and elongating on me but yeah i think that we've we've settled on something which is good right i have just left suster and hicks and i'm so looking forward to seeing what suster and hicks produce because i had like a, an idea in my head and I'm always so excited to learn in these situations and I put on a jacket that I've loved and, and always worn and Jeff was like you see that makes you look shorter because of the way that it's cut and how long it is so all you need to do is make some tweaks here tweaks here da, 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 da. and this is the kind of jacket that that will complement you the best and instantly when I put on the kind of jacket, I was like, oh, amazing. So we've basically designed a really beautiful summer appropriate suit. It's got really nice wide sort of legs. The blaze is perfect and it'll be something that I'm able to wear individually, but also as a suit, like with a linen shirt or I can wear the blazer with linen trousers. Like it's really versatile. And then just kind of go from there. I'm also very excited to have two shirts made. I'm having a uh, like fitted shirt made, like your typical structured shirt. And then I'm also gonna have a linen shirt that's more oversized. And it's like, I'm gonna get to make my dream linen shirt shirt oh yes and they'll sit really nicely with the suit as well so it was just fascinating and I feel like I learn so much each time that I go I think that Jeff is just the most fascinating person he just knows absolutely everything he knows what he needs to do to a suit in order to make it fit you perfectly but also almost disguise areas of your body that maybe you want softened slightly. Like for me, I've got really broad shoulders and he picked up on it straight away. And it's the one thing I struggle with so much. I get a beautiful blazer and I buy it ready to wear and I, I put it on and I'm like, yeah, it's great. But my shoulders almost like hump out on the sleeves and it's so annoying. And the only way to combat it is to go up a size and then have it like tailored in at the waist. but. It just gets a bit expensive, if you know what I mean. So these jackets are going to be made so that I don't have that problem, which is really, really good. Anyway, I am now heading home and sort the house out because we're getting our bedroom back tonight, so it's good. I just love that that sort of relaxed vibe that they had there, so it was really lovely. But now I'm going to get home, I'm going to make myself some lunch and crack on with my day. Good morning, everyone. Oh my goodness. I have not spoken to you since Friday. It is now Monday and the weather has just gone from strength to strength. We had the most wonderful weekend and I honestly couldn't believe that I didn't pick up my camera. But on Saturday, we spent the entire day in the garden and it was just wonderful. Uh, we really did make so much sort of progress. And this morning I pushed the button on our new flower beds. We are going to be having all of our flower beds completely redesigned and I loved the ideas. So I've pushed the button and that's gonna be happening, I believe from the 3rd of May. So all of these are gonna get a good old facelift. And I, the ones I'm most excited about, I think are the ones at the front of the house because they just sound so wonderful. We ended up having a little bit of a rejig. I took some advice from one of my friends and I've moved my cut flower beds to the front here and 
I'm actually going to keep these two beds either side for more veg so I think I'm going to do pumpkins in like one little pumpkin patch and I'm going to put my raspberries and things like that down that side so that it's all kind of contained and then this is like a beautiful floral area so I've planted my alliums my peonies there's cosmos seeds in here I did all of my farmer gracie bulbs so I've got pink ranunculus gypsophila and some more cosmos bulbs and I kind of mirrored them either side but this I'm just having fun with this and I'm just going to see what happens and see how it comes into bloom in here but it does excite me very much for this to sort of come up now I can't wait for the uh, alliums to bloom because it makes me very excited this one's following me around as well but spring has sprung guys spring is here and um, you might be looking at me thinking Lydia you're wearing the same dress that you were wearing on Friday but I am obsessed with this dress I think it's so wonderful and whenever I wear it I get so many compliments but I do have a few other pieces to go through with you so I thought we could get upstairs and have a little bit of a spring inspo time <laughs> so many of my birthday blooms are still looking so wonderful I love having fresh flowers up here I wish they lasted longer but it gets so hot up here Oh, a little bit on the skew if. What I've got to do first and foremost is just do some diary work because I have a lot, a lot to sort through and get done. And so I'm going to just start scheduling everything because I have like a main diary, but in order for me to digest what's in my diary, I have to kind of put it into written form and tick it off that way. The way my brain works is a very interesting one. And, um, <laughs> Yes, we learn something new every day with how interesting my brain works. So I've got a coffee and I'm going to do some work before we get into any of the snazziness, but love it. Can't tell you how much this helps me. Just working through everything in this way works so well for me. Right, where are we? We have not been doing anything. Oh, got a reminder in here this weekend to sew courgettes, pumpkins and squash. I'm so prepared. Right. Must crack on. All things noted down and ready to go. So now let me just do the fun stuff. I want to play with some pretty dresses. If you haven't been able to tell already, this weather has got me extremely excited. And when I'm excited, I shop and I just wanted to get myself a load of really beautiful dresses that I can be in the garden with as much as humanly possible and feel comfortable and lovely. But also I found some pieces, I felt like they were really useful in my wardrobe as kind of layering pieces. And then just a whole host of garden party appropriate dresses because our gardens are gonna be our savior these next few weeks and i want to look good in everybody's garden okay and i just wanted to kind of have a little bit of a refresh and i found a load of items on nasty gal and i thought that i would get in and show you them there are so many pieces in here that remind me of other designers like this particular one screams tibby to me so much like these really beautiful structured pleats on them make me very very excited and this one I don't know if you've heard of the brand called Sir I think I've bought a couple of items their pieces usually have more of an elasticated waistband but this open back with the covered buttons it just gives such a luxe feel but I'm not going to talk you through every item just whilst it's on the hanger I'm actually just going to get them on and show you and talk to you about how I intend on styling them and what pieces I love but just all of these cute strappy dresses are going to be so useful I've been wearing this like maxi shirt dress so much because it's such a great transitional dress like with the long sleeves I've actually got a little thermal underneath can you see that a little intimacy me thermal I've been styling it up with trainers that just works really really well but it's actually like today is quite a warm day but it's not like the warmest so this is really great and I just love the detailing I told you about this earlier but these beautiful little kind of lavender colored flowers with the really delicate leaves. The fabric of this is so beautiful and so affordable. So this was one that I have been loving and wearing to absolute death. Love this. I'm gonna link all of these items in the description box down below. So if you do want to shop the dresses, then you can do so down there. But 
every little bit of information will be down there. But I would not be telling you about these pieces if I didn't have a discount code. You can get 40% off with the code Lydia M. I'll pop it on screen if you want to shop them. Just a nice little bit of saving. I mean, 40% is pretty epic anyway, but I'll pop all of the information about the discount in the description box down below. You can shop it with a nice little amount off as well, but I'm gonna start trying the rest of these items on because you have seen me wearing this dress throughout this entire video and I think the end of last week's video. So I'm just gonna move swiftly on. I literally just spent about half an hour putting a diffuser up because the sun is so glorious and shining today. But this is dress number two and it's got an almost like blush tone to the white. It, this is not perfectly white, although I'm sure it will look white on camera. It has this really beautiful peachy blush undertone and I think it looks so beautiful. It's got like this tiered skirt with ruffles and I just feel so comfortable in this to be able to wear this pretty much wherever. Like if we wanted to go for a walk down to the pub and the sun is shining, it would be so lovely to just pop this on with maybe some plimsolls or some sandals and it just, it feels really nice and light and airy, but it's just a great practical dress as well. Easy to wear. I've styled it up with my Altzura belt, I don't know how you say it, and some castanier wedges. And I just think this looks really nice and earthy and natural, but sort of like a blush twist on a white dress. And I just think this looks so elegant. It's a real classic style with the cross front and the puff sleeves. I love a puff sleeve. And then obviously the full skirt just makes it perfect for this time of year and I do love a white dress I really do so I'll link this one in the description box down below as well this is another really lovely like white dress but with a twist so it's got a sort of crochet detailing to it I wouldn't know what that's actually called but it's got embroidery and then little eyelets as well and this reminds me of Chloe like I feel like I've seen this as like a kind of Chloe dress from previous seasons but it gives me all of the Chloe vibes. I love these kind of boho beaded details that just give that real sort of modern boho vibe. I love the length of this and I actually really like the fact that it's got a tie up back as well. It just feels a little bit more open and airy because sometimes it gets hot in the UK. I know it's hard to believe. And right now I have got my first sweaty upper lip of the season. So it's getting hotter and I just love a little breeze down my back, especially if I ever have to go to London. Oh my gosh, London gets so hot. So this would work really well. You can pop it with boots as well. I've styled it with my castanio wedges, of course, but this with like tan accessories, which I love. I just think this is really, really elegant. Understated, but versatile. You can wear this so many different ways and so many different styles. Like this is much more feminine, but if you wanted to add a little bit of edge to it, you could put some bike boots with it or something like that just to give it a different feel but really really comfortable really versatile and I think that this is actually going to be a bit of a dark horse this one because it makes me feel all of the the luxe Chloe vibes okay no I think this dress is the underdog oh my goodness I should have faked hand but this dress is so beautiful. Look at the floral detailing on this. And the way this fits, it looks like it could be anything like Reformation or something like that because it just fits so beautifully. It's got the darting here, which is so, so flattering. And it's also just kind of like a waist skimmer. This would be so nice for like a wedding or a garden party of some kind. It's not ivory and it's not white. It's like a sort of lemony blush. So I would hope that maybe you could get away with this, maybe not. But for any kind of like event that you've got coming up, this would be so lovely over summer. It's to the floor as well, which I always feel really elegant in. The slit up the leg is also so beautiful, but not too high, which I love. I just think this is gonna be so beautiful and so elegant, even just for garden parties, when we finally have like a proper birthday garden party with all of our friends. I think, when do we get that luxury back? I think it's like May time or is it June? One of the two, but we are having a big old party at our house and I think this will be the dress for the occasion because I feel fabulous in it and I think that's really important. Okay, bear with me on this one because I need to steam these bows because steaming your bows makes such a difference. That's gonna be something that's an interesting one to say, but um, no, steaming your bows always makes something look far more expensive. Just steaming in general always elevates a particular piece and these are wonderful. I can so 
see myself out in the garden pottering between my greenhouse and my beds but also a little bit of sunbathing drinking some pims or something like that and I just think that this is so beautiful it falls really nicely the fabric has a really nice weight to it and it's also got darting which gives an element of structure but also really nips it in so that you get a nice waist I love this one so much I got it in the lilac too this is more of a mauve color but I'll be wearing both equally as much because this kind of dress is a godsend at this time of year. And the mauve because I could not show you it on and you can probably see the detail on the fabric. It's almost got a slight check embossed into the fabric but it just, it looks wonderful. And I actually really like this color because it always makes me feel slightly more tanned because when you haven't faked tanned on a Monday morning, you definitely feel it. I should have tanned, but I chose to run instead of tanning this morning, but I think I'll tan tomorrow because when it's this sunny outside, your girl needs her glow. But if in doubt, wear a little bit of lilac or mauve and I always feel like it gives me a little bit of a glow up. Now, this particular dress, when I saw it, I knew that there was no way that I could pass this up. Look at the drama in those sleeves. I can't even believe that this is High Street. I actually can't believe this is High Street. It is so, beautiful I don't even have a slip underneath this so you can see that this is really really great quality but those sleeves are what is giving me life I knew that I would style it with my my McQueen belt I'm still undecided on the shoes I feel like I could go for a, a taller boot and then alongside the petite mile this just gives this such a luxe feel I am so incredibly obsessed and I love the granddad collar on this as well it looks like McQueen this shirt actually looks like a McQueen dress and I am totally and utterly in love I feel like I need a moment with this I can't get over these sleeves I cannot cope with these sleeves they are too good I can't wait to film a reels with this such a great piece is this the hero? Let me know in the comments which piece so far has been the hero. I've got two more dresses to show you and then I wanna hear your thoughts. But this one for me, I feel like this is what was missing in my autumn winter wardrobe, this shirt. Because imagine this with like a tabard knit over the top, tights, knee high boots, or even just calf high boots, a fedora, like a beautiful bag. Oh, this would have been incredible in autumn winter, but it's gonna serve me well in spring summer too. So I put this dress on and I was thinking, I'm so gonna put this with some really elegant like castanio wedges and or maybe some sandals or something like that. And it gave me the same vibe as the shirt that I just put on because this pleating has its own kind of drama to it. It actually looked so nice with the accessories that I had on, especially these two together, but I could easily swap the boots out for my Valentino rock studs. Same amount of drama, same amount of kind of attitude, but just an open toe so that your feet don't get too hot, which they are right now. But this made me feel like it was more of like an Alexander McQueen vibe as well. And I love it. I actually think that this was so unexpected. Wow, another really great feeling dress. This one has covered buttons to the back. So just be conscious that you may need some help to get into it, but it's got this open back detailing with the tie waist that goes through as well that just breaks it up and makes it not too much like my back is all out people but it's got puff sleeves as well and it's this beautiful midi length great for this time of year i wouldn't usually opt for black but this actually works really well in my wardrobe and this kind of fabric is always one that i kind of reach for at this time of year it's almost like that's that shirting fabric that has a bit of structure but is really hard wearing again i didn't want to put it away but i feel like this bag goes super well with this i haven't decided on shoes yet i think my black valentino rock studs would work really well but just a very very good selection of pieces to wear in all of my friends' gardens for the foreseeable future. But if you wanted to pick any of these items up, I will have linked them in the description box down below with my code Lydia M, which will get you 40% off. And you can shop to your heart's content because there's always so much newness on there and um, some really lovely pieces as well. I'm very happy with my haul, very happy. I've changed back into this dress because it was so comfortable and I popped it with my Hermes belt as well and I thought I would show you quickly because if you prefer something a little bit more classic and less edgy then you can go for this more slimline belt which I think just adds, it almost feels like this would be really lovely to wear to Wimbledon <laughs> but this with my Hermes bag, oh you heard my tummy rumble then and some little 
flat shoes would be really lovely for this time of year. I'm gonna see how I get on because it's really warm up here, but I have my door closed and this is the hottest area of the house. I could go downstairs and be like, I'm absolutely freezing. This was a little bit premature. So we will find out. Potty. Excuse me, what have you got? What have you got? D Porter, come here please. What is that in your mouth? If you think by jumping in your bed, I won't be able to see. What is that? A rubber. You've got a rubber, have you? Does that taste nice? No, you cannot have it. It's not for little doggies. Not for little dog. Look at that face. Oh, you are just, just the most handsome. Oh, it's definitely a hair up kind of evening because we are going to have a little bit of an update in the garden and also show you what's kind of been done today. I mean, there's not really been much done today, but guys, the most exciting update of all, my pinny hooks are up in the kitchen. These are from Garden Trading and I actually wasn't sure when they first went up. I love them wood. I just want them to stay wood. I won't have anyone tell me otherwise. My pinny hooks are staying wood but I've got my Bon Appetit pinny <laughs> that I got when I went to where's the place that I went to where Carrie and I went and we went to the Balney wine estate I picked up a pinny which was very expensive and this is my pro cook one I've actually got two of these as well because Lauren and uh, her team actually picked one up for the kitchen I was like I've already got this so I've got two which is always handy so that's the most exciting update in the house I mean I'm telling a lie it's not the most exciting update in the house we have cupboard doors in here. This room is starting to feel very finished. We have cupboard doors with handles and a barky porter. We've got all of the handles back on. These are from Rowan and Wren, these handles. But we are eagerly awaiting the arrival of our new bed. It is supposed to go here. It is not yet here. Apparently it's going to be delivered between five and seven. I am not sure if it's gonna come. Fingers crossed because I have point blank refused to sleep on the floor this evening because there have been so many spiders in the basement that I'm just, I'm not, I'm not ready. I'm not going to do it. So we are waiting for its arrival. We have been waiting weeks for this and I am very excited. I'm trying not to let it get me too excited so that I'm disappointed if it doesn't come. But fingers crossed, I will have a bed to show you within the next few hours. But until that time, I'm going to give you an update in the garden. However, first and foremost, would you look at these two? spectators of the vlog. Is that your purdy jacket? Yes. It's very nice. This is how the internet needs to see me, see? That's this... a normality. Yeah, it's a yeah. very, very nice jacket. Boy, you little boy. I think oh. Porter needs to go for oh, oh. a walk. <laughs> what? His ear went all the way down my throat. <laughs> 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 you yeah, happy guy. You yeah, happy guy. Happy, 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 happy. He's a happy, happy guy. He's a happy, happy, happy John guy. John Porter's thinking. What? I wonder what's going on with the Super League. No, definitely not. <laughs> More of a reader, aren't you? Oh, yes. Or rugby man. I think he likes top shelf magazines, to be honest. Yeah, so do I, little bird. <laughs> It really has been the most wonderful day. This weather is like almost without cardigan weather, but it's not, so I've popped my cardigan on and I wanted to give you a little bit of an update. So we're out in the garden and basically this is all full of cut flower seeds now, lots of cosmos alliums. I wanted to show you how things were getting on as well. We've got our spring onions and onions coming up. We've got lots of carrots. My wild garlic is not doing well. It really isn't. I'm hoping I can bring it back, but it's not looking good. Broad beans are thriving. Her bed is doing well. I'm gonna give this some seaweed just to give it a little bit of a, a kickstart. I'm still undecided on what I'm gonna do with this bed here. This is a free bed. And then my asparagus. We're not sure what's happening here. I'm hoping that this is just sleeping until it gets a little bit warmer. In here, it needs a really good water now because I didn't water it yesterday. So I think that is gonna be my big priority to get in here done because it gets so warm during the day in here that I think everything needs a good old drink, even these little seed babies. I don't know what's going on with my sunflowers though. Literally, I've only managed to get one sunflower to come up. It's very bizarre. We've planted some artichokes, some more cosmos. Oh, wow, they're already coming up. Goodness me, get some water on those ASAP. But in here is just, oh, just pleases me so much. 
It really does. Wow, that was an operation. So my friend told me to start popping some cling film over my like flower seeds and I literally planted these guys two days ago and they have already germinated. I cannot believe that. I am so impressed. Although I don't want to use too much of it. These guys are almost ready to sprout as well. These, are, I can't remember what these are, but they're really beautiful like pom-pom flowers. These are all doing really well. My cosmos are already up here as well. This guy looks like it's about to to come through too. Doing very, very well in here at the moment. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. My Harvey's Blendalia has a little bud on it. Oh my goodness, look at that bud. <gasps> Thriving. Do we have any on any others? I don't think so. Do we have any on here? But that needs some serious water. All the other dailies have been getting lots of water. This guy clearly not so much. Oh my goodness, guys. I don't know if you can see that. Hold on, I'm watering it. But we have our first asparagus head. Oh, today has been a good sprutling day. Oh my goodness, my first dahlia bud and my first asparagus head. Oh, wow. So even though we might be losing the, the wild garlic, we are thriving in other areas. Thriving. Porter is enjoying the woodland, but as mentioned, Guys, look at that. I did think there was another one over there, but I got it wrong, it was a stone. So yesterday I watered all of the beds using the sprinkler, as you can see there. And I think that that was way more effective than me doing it with the hose. I think they got enough water. It was really nice and spread out. They weren't flooded or anything like that. And I think that it's had a huge, huge impact on my beds. Fingers crossed. If I do that every couple of days, we'll start to see some really good crop coming through. And just checking in on everything at the moment. Not seeing any parsnips just yet, but I am quietly confident. Carrots are really coming through well, which is very, very, very exhilarating. We've also got lettuce coming through, which is really good as well. I know that lots of people are asking why I'm not using the rainwater from my water butt. Well, we haven't had any rain for a very, very long time here in the UK. It's actually quite frustrating. Now I have a newfound respect for, um, look at this one, he loves biting the hose. I have a newfound respect for how much rain we get in the UK because it would be a godsend to have all of the rain at the moment for my raised beds. But doesn't matter just get some weeds out it doesn't matter wow i'm actually over the moon that's completely turned my day around off my alliums porter ah good boy oh my gosh he actually just nearly bit my allium no come on my little sausage boy let's go for a walk porter <laughs> porter come on my boy good boy come on good boy <laughs> You ready for a walk? Come on, let's go find Daddy and go for a walk. Good boy. Hey? Yeah. Guess what? what? We've got our first asparagus head. Wow. You want to come see? Yeah, I can see it from here. No, you can't. Yeah, it's in the back there. <laughs> no, you can't. It doesn't have to be in there for a lot longer. Yes, but it, those little crowns are coming to life. And I've got my first dahlia bud as well. It's very exciting. I'm gonna go and get changed so that we can go for a walk. Yes. Okay? Yeah. So after not sleeping last night, I ended up having a little nap -a -roo on the sofa. So I'm probably looking a little bit spaced out, but in that time, the bed has arrived. So I've actually just popped my pajamas on there, but we face a new issue. We intended on keeping our Simba mattress. However, if you pull this back, it turns out the bed, well, we did know, but the, Amer the, the bed is American king size. It's not the UK king size. And so there's about that much gap that side and about that much gap on that side as well. And also it needs a really deep mattress. So if you can see, 
<laughs> Bit of a nightmare. We got it from this brand. It's Bernhardt. I definitely heard of the brand before. I'd looked at the bed before, but wasn't planning on getting a new mattress because I've thoroughly enjoyed my Simba mattress, but it's looking like we're gonna have to get a mattress. They actually had one. The guys that delivered it worked for a mattress company in Watford. They were called Owl and Lark, but that was definitely the size of mattress that we needed. Hello, my angel, your food's in there. It's in here, look, my love, come on. Here, come on. Here you go. Hey. Look! <laughs> Blooming moaning moo. I think we're gonna have to end up importing or somehow getting a king-sized, American-sized mattress. Something really deep and big, but it is very, very beautiful. And obviously we need to have the bed like sort of made up. And the good thing is, is you can actually change out this canopy so you can get rid of the iron and it comes with little finials. So you can just have the four posters without the canopy. Now I'm not sure how Lumi's gonna react to this bed because she can't climb on it in the way that she used to, but I will update you in the morning on what I think of the new bed and how we've got on. But the one thing that I am so, so happy about is that we have legs, because I hated the fact that we were on a divan. I had no idea how much divan beds affected me, but because of my fear of spiders, I really don't like feeling like I'm sleeping where spiders can crawl up at any sort of place. And I know that obviously, this just eliminates it, okay? But this fabric on the bed, oh, forgetting the spiders, because I don't want to give myself a nightmare, but it's got these beautiful antique bronze buttons here, and then a really beautiful, very earthy, because that's the, the word of this renovation, earthy linen texture and it just looks very, very lovely. Porter's already in his crate, ready to go to bed. And so I'm gonna get my jammies on, get my face washed and get into bed, and let you know what we think. Good morning, good morning, good morning. And hello from someone who has just spent their first night in their very snazzy new bed. Obviously, it's not looking very snazzy in here at the moment, but I wanted to show you it a little bit clearer in the daylight with the full canopy on and the mattress on. Sorry guys, I've just washed my hair and I'm about to go and get ready. But basically what Stubborn Me did was we found out that the, the bed was a US Super King. And I was like, oh no, I really don't wanna to have to get a new mattress. So I was stubborn and I was like, I'm sure that our mattress will be fine. It's only like 13 centimeters either side. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. And it's not fine. It is not fine, guys. But I just didn't want to get rid of my mattress. I love my mattress. It's one of the simple ones, and it's just so good for people like me that sleep on their side. But I think we're going to have to look into a, like, US size mattress, which then means, obviously, US size sheets and all of that stuff. But it's worth it because the bed is so beautiful. I'd literally, like, posted this bed on my Instagram, like, months and months and months ago and I just never imagined that I would actually have it and now we have it in here. It is exceptional. Like quality wise, this is probably the best quality bed I think I have ever, ever experienced in my life. And I'm glad that we like took the plunge and got it. Now we just have to get the finer details all sorted out so that it's perfect. So I genuinely think that the next time that I show you a full kind of tour of this room, I will be showing you it with all of the furniture in because Monday is install day. So it's gonna stop looking like this with all of our random bits and pieces all around the room and it will be pretty much finished like curtains and everything like that. The only thing that obviously won't be in will be our bath, but this view is just getting me extremely excited for when the bath does go in. So that is where I am going to leave you in this vlog. Today is gonna be a busy day for me, so I'm not gonna vlog. I'm gonna go upstairs and get myself ready. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Um, don't forget that I've got my Nasty Gal discount code, which is Lydia M, that gets you 40% off. Obviously, you won't be buying my dressing gown, but the lovely dresses that I featured earlier, hopefully you enjoy them. I'm still on an absolute high about my asparagus as well. I just, I honestly, I can't believe it. I can't, I just, yeah, I'm, I'm just not over it. I'm not over the bed, I'm not over the asparagus. I'm just not over life, guys. I'm just not over life. But um, enough of me, I'm gonna go get dressed, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, bye.